No, I'm responding to your call for a memorial, uh, uh, as you say, sort of memorial challenge for uh, the Rose, and it got me thinking about several things. Uh, one is the whole way that YouTube is an increasingly important site of uh, community protest. Uh, Facebook organizes uh, uh, a lot of things, but, but YouTube is also a very interesting space for this kind of thing, because you get to see actual people's faces and so forth. Uh, but also got me thinking about just the memorial functions of uh, something like YouTube. Uh, uh, I, I don't actually know, but I'd be interested to see how often people do go online through YouTube to post um, memories of people that they love that have been lost, if that becomes a sort of living memorial to people in some ways, um, uh, kind of uh, testimonials and so forth. And how often people do, for example, do these do memorials for institutions in this sense. Uh, here we have this sort of uh, curious moment, it's almost a sort of pre-mortem memorial. The, um, the museum is there, people have a sense it's about to be taken away from them and feel the need to speak out in various ways. So um, I think the idea of a challenge is wonderful, creating a kind of living circle of people. And it, for one of the reasons that's so important is that it breaks down this rather silly dichotomy between art and people that has been proposed as if you can have one over the other. Art is the highest uh, embodiment of what uh, it is to be human, many of us feel. Uh, the putting together of a circle of voices of faces through YouTube is a very important uh, testimony to the vitality of a museum, of a living, of a collection which people are engaged in dynamically. Uh, art, after all, pushes us off in new directions. It disturbs and it troubles us when it's done well. And uh, that's what uh, YouTube could do as well. Uh, it hasn't always happened that way, but it could. So I salute this interesting idea and look forward to seeing how it develops. Thank